<coughs> so, right now, I'm kind of walking the tracks. <coughs> <coughs> Making sure that there isn't anything on it. I'm here before everyone else, and I was kind of told, uh, hey, well, if you can, walk the tracks. Make sure there's no crap on it. So, I guess that's what I'm doing. I don't really care as long as I'm being helpful. Huh. I wonder what this is. It looks like it used to be, like, a switch. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not a... A railroading expert. Now I'm on the track <coughs> that leads up through the tunnel. I'm gonna go over that away. You know, just keep going forward. <coughs> I'm not gonna go up this track, up a kind of steep kind of gradient. Here's a set of points, by the way. <coughs> we're gonna go up a kind of steep gradient, and then we're gonna go into the tunnel. Well, the tunnel might be locked, because the tunnel is where they keep all their cars. It's a pretty big tunnel. Um, it's not too big, but it is pretty big. <coughs> and, uh... Because it's so big, and you'll, you'll, if I actually get to it, you guys will be excited. It's really cool. Um, it strode right into the side of like a a, um, a big mound of dirt. I don't know. It's cool. Just trust me. Um, <coughs> but since it's such a large tunnel, uh, that's where they keep all their cars because the cars are pretty small. And then over in I don't know if you get there's a Shed back that away. <laughs> that they keep all all the engines, which I think they have four of. Um, six fifteen, which is the one that I rode, and have driven before. <laughs> I think nineteen fifteen. I think, which is a blue version of six fifteen, basically. <laughs> I think there's another one. I don't know what it's called. I don't know its number. I just call it Beast. I call six fifteen Mabel, and um. I call 1915 City of Huber. And then, but yeah, uh, Beast is like a, a shunter. It's like a, a switcher. And we use that <coughs> whenever 615 or 1915 are out of commission. Or whenever we need to, like, shunt cars, you know. <coughs> and then, uh, finally there's a little, I don't know what it's called, I think it's a box cab. But it's pretty small. It's so like from that sleeper to like that sleeper. So you know it's pretty small. <laughs> and it's got a cool bell on it and everything. And um since it's so small, it, it's called Plum Cove, by the way. It doesn't have a number. <laughs> since Plum Cove is so small, we use it for like track maintenance. <coughs> you know, like uh, it can't carry too many cars, so normally it'll just carry some freight cars, uh, which we don't have too many of. We're mainly a passenger thing, because we don't go to any industry. Um, <laughs> I know if I go up, there's like a siding that away, <coughs> and then that siding is usually where they keep the works cars, and not the works cars, but like the the maintenance cars. Um, Then Plum Cove usually pulls those. And if there's anything that was a little little too heavy, they'll put them in that. I don't think they have the maintenance cars out right now, though. Sorry. Get out of here. See, that's why we need ballast. There isn't enough ballast there, so things are growing through it. That looks dangerous. Just trust me, it's cool, it's cool, I promise. Um, if, I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure the tunnel is locked. Yeah, I think there's somebody on the other side. So, 
This has been track maintenance with the CPMR. Bye. Now I'm back and taking out the cars from the tunnel. They're going down a gradient, so they're rolling on their own. It's kind of hard to slow them down. Actually, I might just start rolling them and get on them. Well, that worked. It's probably dangerous and against the rules to ride on them while they're just rolling freely without an engine. <laughs> they just about became a runaway earlier. I don't know if you guys saw that. Don't like the sound of that. I think they're just rattling over a set of weird tracks, though. And then all of these tracks are set for the yard. I might just let them roll a little. Because looks like they're going down a, a gradient. Maybe I'll push them a little. Well... I gotta get back to work, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Bye. That conductor at the back, he is the best.